What is up folks? Recently someone over on the Dog Times Patreon Discord asked me about what I would recommend when building a custom little grip kit and what diffusions I think are best. So today we're taking a quick look at these awesome breakdown frames and diffusion rags from Modern Studio Equipment. One quick note, I am not an affiliate of Modern. They did not ask me to make this review video and they are not sponsoring this video. I just love their products and I wanted to share my experience with these awesome frames with all of you. Maybe last year you guys saw a video of me sharing with all of you how you can make your own custom DIY diffusion frames. And there's certainly lots of different ways to do this, but in my experience, the bigger you need your frames to be, the more problems will arise. One of the easiest ways in the past that I've set up some negative fill or diffusion is by T-barring a C-stand arm and then either clamping the duvetine directly to the arm or taking one of my rolls of diffusion, sliding it onto the C-stand arm, and then letting the diffusion waterfall down. Now, indoors, that usually works out okay, but if you're gonna do a setup like that on the exterior shoots, any little tiny amount of wind is going to introduce some very big problems. Then when I was trying to make my own custom frames out of aluminum parts that I found at a local hardware store, I started dealing with a lot of problems when wanting to make a 4x4 or anything bigger because what the size introduces is a lot of flex in those DIY frames. And then there's also the question of how do I get this bendy flexy frame onto a C-stand or combo stand? So one option that I have that I've talked about in the past is I have these fast flag kits. One of them is from Westcott. This is a 18 by 24 kit, two frames with two things of black, a silk, and a double and half net. And the other one I have is made by a company called Impact, which is more of a generic kind of brand, but it's still okay for what you get. This is only 200 bucks. And in here I have five 24 by 36 frames and two blacks, a silk, some nets. They also give you some fingers and dots. So this is a pretty awesome kit for what you get for 200 bucks. Now, both of those fast flag kits are really nice and super portable, especially if you're in a small vehicle. And those work great. But again, that's only 18 by 24 and 24 by 36. Sometimes you just need a bigger flag or a larger source of diffusion, especially for your exterior shots. Now, when I was looking at ways to battle the sun for those day exterior shots, shots exclusively, I knew I wanted at least a 6x6 of diffusion. Now the problem for me is that I don't have a huge 3-ton grip van, so it's just not possible for me to show up to a shoot with a huge 6x6 frame in the back, or even for that matter, a couple little 4x4 frames. And so that led me to Modern Studio Equipment. They sell these awesome aluminum breakdown frames and they're available in any size you desire. They're really nice, durable, and super easy to assemble and fast to break down. Now what's really cool about Modern with their 4x4 breakdown frames is that they're available in four foot tubes or if you're even traveling in a smaller or compact car, you can even buy the kit with two foot tubes. Now I picked up two of the 4x4 frames with the four foot tubes and gold zinc corners and sliding pins. And then I picked up one of these four foot gator bags to store the frames in. Now these are pretty awesome because they have dual compartments. So each compartment is zippered off exclusively on its own. So this way you can be a little bit more organized and not have the frames clapping against each other as much. Or even if you just get one frame for now, you could have one compartment with the frame in and then your rags in the other. Now I very recently, and I mean just literally this past weekend, used these modern 4x4 breakdown frames on a music video shoot. So here you can see how easy and quick it is to build these little 4x4 breakdown frames, but also take notice of the corners. They're crafted with locking Allen bolts, and on the inside of the corners they have little stoppers welded to prevent the frames from sliding through. So you'll always get a perfect 4x4 frame every time. And then your little baby pin mounts also have locking Allen bolts, so you can just quickly slide this on the frame anywhere you need it for mounting, and then quickly lock it down with the Allen bolt. So the six by six breakdown frames are the same. You can get them in either six foot tubes or three foot tubes. And then Modern also sells eight by eight frames, 12 by 12 breakdown frames, and way beyond that as well. But now there's the infamous question of what do we put on the frames? For me, one of my four by fours will serve as a portable floor floppy. And over on Modern's website, they have a gigantic collection of rags and diffusions, literally almost anything you can think of. And I want to point out, in my experience that I've noticed right off the bat is their rags are really well made and super durable. So if you're looking to build your first little set of diffusions, 
it's best to think of diffusions in the same sense of how we think of neutral density filters, meaning you will want at least three different strengths of diffusion, a light, medium, and heavy, and that should cover you in most shooting situations. But if you're just completely lost in the weeds of what diffusions you think you may need, or you don't even know which ones look like what, Lee Filters actually makes an awesome app for your phone. It's just called Lee Diffusions, and you can instantly see examples of a ton of different diffusions. Or you can just start paying close attention when you're watching or listening to cinematography breakdowns. Like maybe if you listen to the Team Deacons podcast or the Wandering DP podcast. Just start listening to what kinds of diffusions and frames those guys use. And what you'll notice is you start hearing the same things being said over and over. One of those is the magic cloth, which I have here. And this is a very popular rag in Hollywood. I actually refer to this as the Hollywood black magic of diffusion rags. And what it does, it produces a really nice, well diffused neutral light source. So the reason why big diffusions like this are so important because they are the key to making your light sources not look like sources. The best cinematography looks like it didn't have any work put into it at all. It just looks natural. And one of the best characteristics of this magic cloth is that it softens your light without changing the color temperature of your light source. So color temperature is one thing to take into account when shopping for rags, but something else to consider is the light loss. For instance, this magic cloth right here will cut down your light by about two and a half stops. So if your key light is set to a 2.8 and then you want to fly this magic cloth in front of it to soften it up, well now your 2.8 is going to be more like a 1.2. So you're either going to have to crank the level up on your lamp or maybe go with a lighter diffusion. So the next one down would be something like this silent half grid cloth. Now this one is a 6x6 because I bought this specifically to help me battle the sun. So the grid cloths are really awesome because they have these little grids sewn into the fabric which help direct the beams of light. I like to think of it as little built-in honeycomb grids. And what's really nice about this particular half grid cloth is that it's made out of a silent fabric, which is really nice for when you're out there shooting your big day exterior scenes because these silent grid cloths don't make as much noise as some of the other rags that are out there on the market. So this particular material makes these grid cloths really, really popular in any outdoor shooting situation. And they're available in different strengths. So you have full grid, half grid, and quarter grid. This half grid right here has a two stop light loss, while the quarter grid has only a half a stop light loss. Another diffusion you might hear being used a lot is highlight. It's a very light diffusion, but good for cutting down the edge on hard sources, such as the sun. However, in my research, I found that highlight is very, very similar to another popular diffusion, the 250, which is just half diffusion. Either way, both the highlight and the 250 only cut your light levels down by a half a stop. So in my kit for my strong heavy diffusions, I have this magic cloth, but if I ever need anything a little heavier than this, I also use a frosted shower curtain. And if I ever need to warm up the temperature of my light sources while also soften it down by a couple stops, I also keep a few sheets of unbleached muslin in my kit as well. For diffusions that aren't going to be quite as heavy as those three, I have this uh, half silent grid cloth, which is great for the sun, but I also have a 216 full diffusion roll. And then if I ever need it, I also have a roll of full grid as well. And then for the lighter situations, I just use a pop-out silk or my 250 half. Now the advantages of using Modern's breakdown frames with their rags is not only for their portability, but they make their rags super friendly to use along with their frames. So every rag from Modern has an elastic strap sewn on each corner, which makes it super easy to quickly get the rag onto the frame snug, and then you can use the ties to tighten up the slack. Another feature that I love about all the rags from Modern is each of them come in their own labeled storage bag. So not only are they well protected in here now, but they're also labeled for your crew. My dream one day is to just have a duffel bag full of these satchels from Modern Studio Equipment. So thanks for checking out this video, and as always, I'll have links down in the description below to help fast track your own research, and I wish you all the luck in building your own little grip diffusion kit. Yeah. Yeah. After I get it, I reinvest. After I get it, I reinvest. People wanna talk that talk in reality. You have not seen me in action. You think the come up comes overnight. You ain't behind the scenes. Trust me, these things don't just happen. No shade to Gerald, but G's don't come easy when you tryna eat. I producing and rapping. I read that. Come
contract, you sent me to sign, but excuse me, I can't help myself, I'm just laughing. Hey, you try to cut out a piece of my pie, and I ask you politely, what's it that you offer me? Yeah, I produce all my own beats, and I have no intention of losing my publisher. Yeah, independent individual. <laughs>